Geometric Optics 4, Problems Involving Convex and Concave Mirrors. Now let's define two important terms. The first term is what we call real images. Real images occur when light rays actually focus or converge at the image. An example, images on a cinema screen. So uh, in this case, the light source is from the projector and the projector, the, the light rays, actually converge at the image that you see on the screen. Another example includes uh, images where the object is beyond the focal point of a convex mirror. So as you can see here, the rays, the light rays actually converge. These are real light rays that converge at the image that we actually see. Okay. Now, this is contrasted with virtual images. So a virtual image is an image in which the outgoing rays from a point on the object always diverge. It appears to converge in or behind the optical device, i.e. a mirror. An example, an image produced by a flat mirror. Now when you have a flat mirror, if you stare at a mirror, the image of yourself in the mirror or of an object in the mirror looks like it's behind the mirror. It looks like it's, it's um, it's, it's, it's be actually behind the mirror. If you walk away from the mirror, the image seems to walk away from you. That's why we call it a virtual image. So if we look at an example with a concave mirror, okay, first of all, the outgoing rays, these rays here, they diverge. In addition, the rays seem to converge in or behind the optical device. So any convergence is behind the optical device. That's why we call this a virtual image. An example, so uh, provided here, um, is, is this image here where it appears to be virtual. It doesn't, it's not actually, the light rays are not actually converging on the image. They only appear to converge behind or in the device. So in this case, a concave mirror. Okay, now a couple important equations. The first equation is what we call the mirror equation. Okay, this is the mirror equation. And this is 1 divided by the distance of the object from the mirror plus 1 over the distance of the image from the mirror. And that equals 1 divided by the distance of the focus from the mirror, so the focal point, okay, the focal length. Now, a couple of important things. So if, if SI, in this case, okay, if it's positive, that means that the image is real. Okay? If SI is negative, that means that the image is in fact virtual. Okay? Very important distinctions to make. In addition, we have what we call the magnification equation. So the magnification tells you how, um, how large or how many, how many times the image has been projected. Okay? So this is the magnification equation. So this tells you how big, you know, how much bigger or how much smaller has the uh, object or the image been magnified. Okay. Now, if M, if M is negative, that means that the object is inverted. Okay. If M is positive, that means the object is upright. Okay. That tells you a lot.